agree. I'm not sure how to put it. It's as if it's generating a wellspring of revulsion within you. Well, these are bugs, aren't they? I think bugs is the name of this persona. Yeah, bugs. This is, uh, this is also the dire shadow, I thought. I thought that as a dire shadow somewhere. Right, so we're, we're basically fighting dire shadows here. Last surprise again. I'm from Makoga. Get hit by my psychokinetic gun. Oh, bugs again. These are basically the dire shadows I fought. The killer teddy bear is exactly the one I fought. At least the name is. The <laughs> mass destruction, good one. I must have missed that, um, that non-subtle reference before. For everyone who doesn't know, Mass Destruction is the battle theme of Persona 3. Easy. Concentrate. I like that. Get rid of the Kaja. Ah, oh, there we go. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the counter attack there. Not even worth my time. Okay, let's oh, it's a uh, story shadow. There's a tough looking one. Don't let your guard down. Oh, it's Mon. Ma Mon, something like that. Weak to wind. I don't have wind. Actually, I probably do. No, I don't think I do with Joker either. Oh, we can detonate that. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Can't move. I'm stunned. Oh, thank you so much, Sophia. I have no idea how much that means to me. Oh, we got a checkpoint coming up. I mean, what, what's the point of a checkpoint if we can't even leave? Alright, for like the velvet room. And all that. Oh, it's using Megadola. Don't do that. That, that. I don't even know what happened there, so I don't even want to comprehend that. <laughs> Sophia, you need, um, SP.
bum, 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 bum. I'm dead. Oh man. Let's go. I'll use this. Yes, thank you for the buffs. Up everyone before they die. This one. This. Thank you, you. Take this. Fire. Joker, down. I don't have any wind, do I? No, I don't. This one. I don't, I don't want Reginaga. Oh, I meant. Or send crit. Your luck stat sucks, so I don't think you're gonna crit. I'm not sure what luck actually does, but I'm assuming. Charge up. And then Megaton Braid. Sophie's yeah. Do it now. The one thing I don't understand how I'm gonna do is do this whole jail without going back to the real world to rest. If, not, if they give me a way to heal, I'll be fine with it, but I'm a little worried that they're gonna make me go through this whole area. And that'd be fine, but SP is very valuable, so I don't know. I really hope they don't just expect me to, like, not need healing. I really hope it's- man, that, that's my biggest worry right now. Let me damage you. Oh, thank you. I don't, I don't really need that now, but... Oh, she gave everyone a showtime? That's really nice. I'm gonna save them, though. Don't let anyone die. Into the heal. Use my last crab hop, I guess. Ow. On's dead. Okay. I'll use this. Everyone has a showtime. Except Sophia. But she just used hers, so actually that makes sense. She's actually really close to getting hers again though. Oh, now everyone has a showtime. <laughs> no need for the for Mont. Yeah, we can't leave. I have to get uh, more coverage personas for Joker. Hello, Trickster. You wish to browse? Please take a look. What will you be? Would you like to? This persona has been registered in its you wish to strengthen it. Alright, get rid of some of these. You 
wish to strengthen. Level up our sand a bit more. This is what the power of your mask has strengthened. I don't know when you're gonna learn my Aegon. Hopefully it's like in the fifties or something, not too far away. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. Probably my you can get all these. You wish to wrap please take a look. Alright, well, I'm gonna get some personas. I think Forney has had good coverage, right? Yeah, yeah, this is what I want. Forney, for, yeah, has has lots of good coverage. We'll do that. Right, goodbye, Lavenza. Again, I'm hoping something like helps the whole like not being able to like leave the jail. Because I'm not gonna have a good time if they just make it where I can't leave and can't heal. Which that'd be pretty terrible if that was the case. Does On still have her showtime if I take her out? I don't know. Who cares? Hey, so this place really is a jail and not actually Mementos, right? That's what we were told. Whatever it is, it's giving me a bad Just that. This place. The striking resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Mementos, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Who said that? This is the Promised Land. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box just who are you i am emma the ark of the covenant and guide for all mankind emma the ark of the covenant hey someone tell me what's going on what the hell is that thing me too explain this in comprehensible terms we don't get any of this either my primary directive is to grant humanity its ultimate desire to be liberated from all pain and suffering. This is literally Persona 5 Royal all over again. Mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution and instead beg for deliverance. I shall become a god to grant them this deliverance. I shall guide them to the promised land. You have basically Maruki's motives, except Maruki was a much better character, so, you know. I am not sympathizing with this AI one bit. It's gone? Mm-hmm. It sure is getting crazy around here. Am I right? You're evil, aren't you? Huh? Ichinose-san? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, of course you're shocked. I never would have thought I could come here either. Are you her shadow? Oh, no. Not at all. I'm Kuanichi Nose, all right. The one and only. So, so you're a Persona user too? Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job, is all. You were given a special job? Yep, by Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. This girl's bad. You know, like, I guess when I, I guess I can kind of see certain instances, like she did create Emma and all, but. Not, this isn't like a totally like out of nowhere twist, but it's a. Uh, I don't know. And of course, I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. I figured she would have. The point I'm trying to get at is, I figured she would have something to do with all this because she did make Emma. So I figured she would be tied into this in some way. Dude, hang on a sec. I am really, really lost here. <laughs> really? 
Mama was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So you copied one of the best antagonists in Persona, basically. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. Oh, what a shock. I, well, Emma being the main mastermind, I totally saw coming. I, I saw all that. I knew Emma was going to be the, like, everything. I knew AI, it was going to be like AI evil creating the jails or whatever. I, I, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. What? But Emma's just an AI, right? <laughs> yeah, AI is a lot smarter than you think. I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but... That was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medis to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just override it. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But, but how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it could just start tinkering with the metaverse like this. I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh yeah, you totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medis, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she took up all sorts of new activities. Creating cognitive worlds, installing monarchs, changing hearts. It didn't take long for Medis to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec! You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. Oh, I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? <laughs> yeah, ex yeah, explain that. Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but... Our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. I can't, I mean, like, when I saw her, I was like, there's no way this girl is going to be relevant at all. But then when I found out she uh, made Emma, I figured they would tie her into the story some way. It just seems like, why would they not? <laughs> you know, if she had this much knowledge of Emma and all that, and she made Emma. Exactly how Emma gained her abilities, that's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She is the best way to get anything you need. And she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers the solution to thousands of problems every day. 
Do you know just how many desires she's collected? That seed of power that sparked within Emma was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of man. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. Simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. After all, she's powered by the masses now. So she's basically turned human and has like a human body and everything? It's Attack of the Cyborgs all over again. Well, humanity fed Emma their desires. She learned and grew until she could grant their ultimate desire. That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> So you're all a bunch of idiots too, then. I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. You go on and on about your problems, then completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This, this does not sound right in the slightest. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not the best solution. Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. Living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans! <sighs> Sophia, to think such drivel could come from your mouth. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Konoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. I want Emma. No, I want something that will provide the answer I seek. <sighs> From what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. Well, I have my own duties to perform can't have anyone getting in Emma's way. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> Sorry, but we can't back down either. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Can you really stop all of us? Don't get in our way. Mm, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia, you ever really think about how you were? How you pick up on jails? Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place? Or, say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? What? Hmm. Looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Ichinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. I thought it was to kill us. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the brakes. Ichinose. Why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the phantom thief. Sophie! What the hell are you 
doing, Sophie? I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. She'll do anything I tell her to. Oh, each of those say maid Sophia. Oh my god, Rivers in the desert again. Now get going, Sophia. Also, did anyone see that Joker was bleeding from that one yo-yo attack? It looked like it, at least. It looked like something was going down his mask. Understood. Game, don't make me do this. I love Sophia too much. 